New state distracted driving law is now in effect, so you want to make sure you're up to date on what is legal or not, and also know your rights here. So Melena Brown met with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office and law uh, experts to find out. She joins us now live. So what are the legal consequences out of all this? Adam, for the next six months, anyone that is pulled over for one of those new distracted driving laws will be issued a warning. But come October, some fines are going to start kicking in. It's a very timely law because people who are actually looking at their phone, using their phone uh, while they're driving, they might as well have a blindfold on. The Ohio State Highway Patrol reported that in 2022, distracted driving accounted for 31 fatal and 258 serious injury crashes. It's a primary offense, so when we see you now looking, texting, doing things on your phone, we can now stop you just for that reason. Dialing a number to sending a text or browsing social media and watching videos, Anything involving a phone in hand is now illegal, with a few exceptions, like calling 911. You can hold a phone up to your ear as long as you were stopped when you had to swipe it to get the phone up and answered. But many are asking, how will officers know for certain someone was using their phone? And who gets to make the final legal decision? Oh, they can make a statement to the the officer if uh, they don't believe they were using it. Uh, but ultimately, uh, if the officer says, you know, I saw you use it, then it's going to have to be decided by a judge. If they called the officer to testify and he testified that what he saw or she saw, uh, that could be enough if the judge believes it. Being pulled over also doesn't give officers probable cause to search your phone. They need a warrant. I asked Sheriff Streck what he has to say about those who question officers intentions for anyone I again read comments online that says this is just a, a way for officers to pull people over what what do you have to say to those people you know I hate that people feel that way but once again all you really have to do is look at the statistics and find out how many crashes individuals are causing why they're looking at their phone or other handheld devices Sheriff Streck tells me the main thing everyone should remember is if it takes more than one swipe or one push, it's most likely distracted driving. For Dayton 24-7 Now News, I'm Melena Brown.